before we solve the bloop mystery, we need to talk about what happened in 2018, because something in the Pacific Ocean did the unthinkable. It ate an apex predator. A team of marine biologists was conducting a routine study on great white shark migration patterns. They captured a healthy 10-foot great white shark that's over 3 meters of pure predatory muscle and attached a sophisticated tracking tag to it. This wasn't just a simple GPS tracker. This tag recorded depth, water temperature, movement patterns, and even the internal body temperature of whatever was carrying it. Basically, a black box for sharks. For four days, everything was perfectly normal. The shark did what great whites do, hunting near the surface, diving to moderate depths, cruising the coastal waters. The data coming back was exactly what the scientists expected, until day five. The tag suddenly registered violent, rapid movement. The shark plunged downward at an impossible speed, descending deeper and deeper. 500 feet, 1,000 feet, 1,500 feet. The shark was being dragged into the abyss against its will. It didn't stop until hitting 2,300 feet. That's almost half a mile down. Then everything went still, dead still. But here's the chilling part. The tag's temperature sensor spiked to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the internal temperature of a stomach. Something had swallowed the shark whole, tag and all. The obvious suspect? Orcas. Killer whales are known to hunt great whites. But there's a problem with that theory. Orcas hunt near the surface rarely diving past 300 feet. This attack happened at 2,300 feet, depths where orcas simply don't go. So what lives at 2,300 feet that's large enough and powerful enough to overpower and consume a 10-foot great white shark in seconds? That's the question that still haunts marine biologists. Could it be connected to the bloop? Drop your theories in the comments and follow for the answer.